Hello traders and welcome to the Ninja Trader 8 Hacks. In this video we're going to talk about ATM additional options and strategy selection modes. The topics that we're going to go ahead and touch on are ATM additional options and ATM strategy selection modes. As a reminder, trading does carry significant risk. All information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or forex. To select the additional options in the stop strategy or the ATM strategy, go to any one of your ATM strategies if you have them loaded. We're going to go ahead and start with the custom one. And then go to more underneath. You're going to have a couple different orders down here. You have reverse at stop and reverse at target. This will allow you to reverse your position at the stop and go in the opposite direction or reverse your position at the target and go in the opposite direction. These will place market orders into the market and this will retain your same ATM strategy that you were using previously to reverse at stop or target. Chase limit will activate chase order or auto chase. What this means is that if you put an entry order into the market, and you have auto chase, you can go ahead and select here that how close it'll go ahead and chase the market. So for instance, in terms of ticks, as soon as you put an entry order into the market and you have auto chase enabled, it will chase the order by five ticks behind the market until it gets filled. Similarly, it's chase if touch also applies to an entry order, but in a different way. So if the last price touches an, an area in the market that you designate, It'll go ahead and turn into an auto chase order here at this point and then start chasing the entry order here. Target chase means that if the price reaches a take profit and the last price touches it but does not get triggered, it'll go ahead and start chasing the market until it gets filled. Again, adjust the chase limit however behind the market or in front of the market you want the orders to go ahead and chase. If it's by 5 ticks or less or more than that, make sure you make that adjustment here. Stop limit for stop loss and market if touch for profit. So by default in the futures market, if uh, when you put a stop market into our stop loss into the order, it will be a market order. If you prefer a stop limit, make sure that this is checked. Now for the take profit order, it'll be a limit order. But by default, if you want a market order, make sure that this is checked. Shadow strategy allows you to forward test ATM strategies without actually putting it to work in the market. Each ATM strategy has a few different selection modes and you can find this by simply right clicking here in the, or in the chart trader panel going to properties here and then looking under ATM strategy selection mode. You have three different modes that you can choose from. By default it will always go to the select active ATM strategy on order submission. What this means is that as soon as you go ahead and place an order here into the market, it will go ahead and continue to use that ATM strategy. So for instance, if I go ahead and continue to use this ATM strategy, let's go ahead and use a different one here. As, as I put orders here into the market, it will go ahead and continue to update these orders here live. You can see the lightning bolt indicating that this is the active strategy. Going to keep selected ATM strategy template on order submission, we'll go ahead and change this up just a bit. So let's say I go ahead and sell the market here. And the market moves down, and I go ahead and sell again. And the market moves up or down again, and I sell once again. This is going to go ahead and do is every time I put an order here into the market, it's going to go ahead and keep this old strategy but it'll place buy orders and sell or take profit and stops at different areas here in the market. It'll go ahead and continue to put orders in and, and moving your average entry down or up based on the types of orders. But instead of stacking the orders, it'll go ahead and, and using the existing ATM strategy, every time you put a new order into the market, it'll go ahead and use a new ATM strategy. Finally, display selected ATM strategy only. If you have multiple windows open in the same market, you can go ahead and use different ATM strategies in that market. So let's say I had an ES window open here and another five minute ES window open. If I have display selected strategies only, I can go ahead and just view this five by eight strategy here. And then the next window, I can go ahead and use a different strategy, maybe 10 by 20, 
and I'll go ahead and be able to trade that strategy in that window and just see that strategy within the same market. 